Circuit Stop! Like and subscribe! Hello, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, NBs, Republicans, lizard people. What's up? <laughs> We're doing the MXR Distortion Plus today. Uh, partly because it's a classic, and partly because, uh, you know, I gotta make more of these videos, and I'm feeling, like, really tired today. I don't I wanna do a simple one. <laughs> so anyway, uh, it's really important um, when you're doing this to compare several schematics, that's why I'm flipping between these, and I've kind of neglected to stress that on my other videos. Because, like, I also stress how sick Electro Smash is, but there are uh, slight mistakes everywhere, you know? Not, I mean, not on Electro Smash, there are mistakes everywhere. I mean, there are, but it's the universal. It's not just them, is what I'm saying. So compare stuff, you know? All these schematics were made by human beings. So it's important to compare. Uh, for instance, this is a 500K pot here. Uh, and it's 10, uh, a mega ohm, excuse me, it's a meg on other ones. And then over here, this one is, I believe, a 10K pot on other schematics, but it's a 50K here. So this is a smaller and that's bigger than the other ones, right? Uh, where is it? Yeah, mega ohm there, and then 10K output. Uh, so, let's get into it. Getting into it. The power section first, because it's simple and boring. We have a voltage divider. R6, R7 are both mega ohm and they go between 9 volts and 0 volts. So in the middle, you get 4.5. Um, C6 is likely an electrolytic capacitor, although they used the sort of uh, non polarized cap symbol here. Um, uh, and its job is just to buoy. 4.5 volts and keep it steady like if the if the power has some spikes or whatever this is just it'll filter some of that uh, garbage out so uh, Getting to the real meat of the deal here. We got our input boom, and then we hit this is kind of funny C1 a little nano farad just a little guy um, And this is basically a high-pass filter for really high frequencies um, like radio frequency stuff So it's just for random noise uh, Hello. Uh, this is a high pass filter, so it blocks DC. Did I say that right? Yeah, high pass filter. It blocks DC current um, and allows AC, or you know, our audio, to go through. R1, I don't know how important this is. I think, I suspect you could remove this entirely and you wouldn't hear much of a difference. Um, if I'm wrong about that though, because I do have doubts, <laughs> leave comments uh, telling me what an idiot I am. Why, why do I care about R1? What's what's the point of that? Because this isn't our input. Our, our impedance here is a million bajillion. It's basically infinite. Anyway, uh, this is our biasing diode just to keep our op amp operating in the middle, right? All right from our four and a half volts that we made over there. Uh, pretty normal stuff, although, um, whatever. Yeah, that's pretty normal stuff. Uh, here is our, what is this, a 741 op amp, I think? Yeah, 741, which is pretty common. Uh, people like that one for audio stuff. Yeah, LM741. 741, yep, 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 yep. Um, and what this basically is, it looks more complicated than it really is. So if we simplify this guy, what we have, I'm gonna put it in the same orientation, so inverting up top. Uh, your input comes in here. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. What we have is a non-inverting amplifier. It's just a real classic basic op amp thing, right? Your input goes in the non-inverting input. Um, and then we have, I like to call this one RF and this one RG for our feedback, you know, because in the negative feedback loop. And then this one obviously goes to ground, so RG. Um, and if you want to do the gain formula for that one, gain of voltage is equal to one plus, I always forget about this part. If you're doing a non-inverting amp, because when you do inverting amps, you don't get the plus one, but when you do a non-inverting amplifier with uh, op amps, why can't I? You gotta add the plus one. So anyway, uh, then we do RF 
divided by RG. Um, and our circuit over here, we can simplify that. That's basically, we're gonna ignore everything over here and just say audio comes in. And then R4 is our RF, so that's one meg. We can put one meg right there. Uh, RG, our ground, this section, is gonna be C3, R3, and the distortion pot. Um, now C3, I'm gonna ignore off just for this uh, formula. R3 plus R uh, distortion, <laughs> RV, I guess, uh, is basically one meg plus 4,700, which is pretty close to one meg. Uh, so I'm gonna round it. <laughs> so our minimum gain is gonna be, cause this is, you know, if we uh, collapse these guys together, we get, that's one. So we get one plus one equals two. So our gain, we have a gain of two at the minimum. Now, if we turn this knob all the way down, we're basically shorting it entirely out because they have lugs uh, two and three shorted out already. So if we turn this, so the wiper is all the way connected, you know, we've basically removed this pot entirely. And then um, RG is just gonna be 4K7. Um, and if we do all that math out, it, it, it comes out to about 210 or, or so. I'm rounding here. Um, and I did the math like an hour ago. I don't, I don't remember the specifics. It's, it's, so basically our minimum gain is two and our maximum gain is 200, approximately. Now, it's gonna, that's the math, right? However, that's not reality because we have this clipping section to contend with. And these diodes having that uh, forward bias voltage that they do means that we're not gonna actually see that much gain on the output. They're gonna dramatically reduce our volume. So let's get to that. Um, uh, I'm gonna just kind of skim over the filtering. I don't wanna do that math for you right now. I'm lazy. Just all of these caps are doing a little bit of filtering in slightly different ways, right? Now R5 is basically a current limiting resistor. Now, I suspect this is this is 10K, which is a little high for what you normally see on this kind of thing. You'd normally see like 1K or 4K7 or something like that. So it's just a little bit high. Um, and I think what that is, is probably compensating, and I'm kind of speculating here just to be clear, because these diodes uh, the, in the original MXR Distortion Plus are germanium who have a forward Voltage, forward bias voltage of something like 0.4, whereas most diodes will have, uh, that voltage will be 0.6 or so. And then like LEDs and stuff can have that, uh, it, can have, it can be up to like two volts sometimes, like between one and two volts, depending on the color and you know, there's a lot of variance. Um, but the point is germanium diodes are way low on that side. Like I don't, I, yeah. They're super low. So I'd imagine that's why this current limiting resistor is a little high. So this is a classic place where you wanna like do mods, right? Like do a, do some, like throw an extra diode in series here to make it uh, asymmetrical clipping. I don't know what just happened to my brain. <laughs> you know, or you can change out the diodes here. You can do all kinds of stuff and get a lot of different colors just by messing around with this little bit. But, um, you should consider when you're doing that, messing around with this guy too. Now this is another filtering cap. Uh, this is a uh, low pass filter because uh, when you do hard clipping, you get a buttload of high, fizzy, noisy, bright stuff. So we need some filtering. Um, and this is usually on most circuits, you'd have like the tone section right after the clipping. Uh, where you filter stuff out, and there's some controls there. But this is a simple circuit, so they didn't do that. They kept it stupid. Uh, so just a little filtering in parallel with the diodes. Now, our output, this is pretty standard uh, voltage divider style. It's like one pot, you know. Uh, I don't know what else to say about that. <laughs> yeah, so that's, uh, that's the MXR Distortion Plus. It's a classic, dude. It's a classic. 
All right, I'm done with this. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. I'm just. I'm leaving now. Have it. Have a nice one. Have a good time. MXR Distortion Plus. <laughs> like and subscribe. You idiot. You idiot. Like and <laughs> subscribe. You idiot. I don't use Twitter, subscribe. but I'm on the other things. You can follow me on Instagram like, or something. Like, 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 uh, like, I don't really like, post like, over there, though. You idiot. Like and subscribe. Click on the, you know, you know what you need to do. I need you to click it though. Just click. <laughs> Just do it. <laughs> it's gonna be great. It's the beginning of a beautiful partnership between you and me. We're gonna be friends for life. <laughs>